Hi, Intermakers. My name is Federico, and uh, I'm an aerospace engineer based here in uh, Luxembourg, currently working in the space field as a system engineer. As you can see, maybe the background gives it away a little bit, uh, but I'm uh, extremely excited actually to be here today uh, to share with you my journey and my different experiences uh, as part of my both degree and early professional career. I graduated actually a couple of years ago in 2018 with a degree in uh, aerospace and aeronautical engineering uh, at Loughborough University in the United Kingdom. And uh, since then, and also during the degree, I was able to take part in a number of internship opportunities in engineering, including uh, general electric aviation uh, in the uh, avionics uh, for civil and military aircraft department, as well as more recently my Amazon Robotics uh, work, where I was a robotics engineering intern, uh, creating, designing, developing, and then launching uh, palletizing solutions for warehouse supply chain within the European, uh, European network. So uh, I'm, as I said, I'm uh, super excited actually to be able to share with you what kind of lessons learned I've gained over these, uh, these couple of years. And um, um, since you're probably going through similar steps right now, hopefully something that I will share today will stick with you and that will help you for your uh, uh, interview process as well as the application process, which we, we all know can be a little bit tedious and it can, be, uh, uh, it can, take, uh, you know, can take quite a few um, months and uh, in terms of patience, quite a lot of patience as well. So uh, stick with me and uh, perhaps we'll, uh, we'll be able to get some, uh, some useful content out of this which will help you for your, your next steps. I hope so. So in terms of how I got into uh, Amazon, as you know, Amazon is a, a huge company. You know, it's geared up to different countries, it's a global presence. And uh, the application process, I'm sure it's a little bit different for every single territory that we're in. But uh, for myself, uh, I applied for a position as a robotics engineering intern here in Luxembourg, which is the European headquarter. Uh, and the position basically entailed uh, supporting the team, uh, the technologies team, to uh, design, develop, uh, and then launch as well machines within the supply chain network that would help uh, a number of operations within the uh, uh, last mile procedures, which include, you know, palletizing the boxes, uh, sorting the boxes, or automatically uh, picking up which box uh, was coming where and how to distribute them properly. So uh, a lot to do with machine learning, a lot to do with machine vision, uh, as well as some project management to understand, you know, uh, the different warehouses in the European network, how they would have to work together and how they would have to uh, uh, integrate the solution they were working on. So a really fantastic opportunity. I remember when I was reading it for the first time, uh, I fell in love with it straight away, not just because it's Amazon, you know, at, at a young age, to be able to be part of this big company, you know, I, I really did learn a lot of lessons. Uh, but also because the role was very, very challenging. And I remember that uh, uh, that's one of the reasons why I decided to apply for it, uh, because I didn't feel that I was a perfect fit for the role, uh, but rather that uh, I could become it and I could build myself during these months that I was as part of the, of the team. I could actually grow into a better engineer and also a better, better professional throughout it. So uh, how did I actually get into the company? I remember the process was not easy, uh, despite it being uh, you know, just a six, seven month internship, uh, I was able to, um, uh, to get it in the end with uh, a lot of stages throughout the application process, which included face-to-face uh, -face interviews, uh, online aptitude tests and technical assessments uh, for which I had to prepare in advance, as well as a different application uh, form that they had, uh, had provided in the beginning. So um, I expected it to be a little bit more straightforward in the beginning, I have to be honest, uh, as it was a little bit easier for my placement year, so my internship that I did during my degree in, uh, in university. Uh, which I did in General Electric, uh, where for Amazon it was uh, uh, very lengthy and uh, very laborious, so I had to have a lot of patience, and that's something that I would like to, uh, to give to you as well. Uh, always make sure that you keep focus on what your final goal has to be. Don't lose uh, patience, which will lead to losing quality of your application and your work. Make sure that your best self is always coming out. You know, Don't try and sugarcoat things. Always be honest and always do your very best in a, in a transparent way. So uh, in terms of getting to the company, uh, the key thing to remember here is to, uh, you don't need to be the best candidate for the role, go for it and shine in the things that you do best. Uh, and then once you get to the interview stage, then it's your time to uh, demonstrate the skills. And then also make sure that uh, you tailor your application to uh, specifically what the company is looking for, which we're talking, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about more in the, in the next question. To get into a position like this within the uh, Amazon Robotics uh, company as well as the Amazon organization in general, uh, I would suggest uh, you know, a number of recommendations uh, as Amazon is a very large entity 
uh, there is a number of workflows and standardized procedures that need to be followed, uh, and uh, especially with their leadership principles. So Amazon has a set of leadership principles, which we use uh, to advise a lot of their decision making within the leadership teams. And this also applies to the application process. So for, you know, for an internship, for example, you will need to demonstrate how you fit within the role, not just from the role's uh, description, but also from the leadership principle perspective. So when have you shown bias for action? You know, when have you disagreed and committed and then achieved the best result within, for, for example, your academic life? Um, when have you deep dived in a uh, situation, perhaps, perhaps conducting a literature review of a topic so you could have a better understanding of it and then you could deliver a better, better result? So Amazon is very strict with this perspective and I suggest that when applying to Amazon, you really do tailor the application and you tailor what kind of uh, uh, examples you're bringing and what kind of um, skills you're demonstrating to the leadership principles. Uh, another thing which I highly, highly recommend is to, if you have a possibility to attend career fairs, I was able to host a number of these, I remember, during my uh, university times and it was one of the most proud moments of my, uh, my young, uh, young life. Uh, to be able to see you know, people's interest in their eyes and uh, see uh, what kind of drive and ambition they had. So this really does help you out, you know, building your network and it helps uh, shaping your different, uh, your different aspects of a personality and a character, which would be passed on you know, to a potential recruiter or a potential talent scout. Uh, so a career fair is not just there you know, to collect the free pens <laughs> and collect the free bags. Uh, it is very important to be able to start building your professional network. It is never too early nor too late uh, to start building your professional network uh, and you should uh, start focusing on that uh, you know, uh, straight away if you have the opportunity to. Uh, another uh, thing I would like to suggest is building your online presence and your online reputation. Uh, so Amazon is an online company and uh, they take that into uh, consideration during the application process. So they are uh, we're very looking forward to see, for example, for a design role, uh, what kind of portfolios you've conduct completed in the past uh, and how you've demonstrated uh, the skills that you're presenting in your CV and cover letter and hopefully in an interview uh, from your experiences beforehand. So uh, create your online presence. For example, it could be for a software role, it could be GitHub, uh, you know, making sure that you demonstrate your um, uh, the different projects that you've launched or the uh, software that you've developed. And uh, in my case, it was more of a robotics perspective. So, you know, my work with Arduino, Raspberry Pi, uh, my work within the university where I had to uh, design, develop, manufacture, and also fly an autonomous drone, uh, which was a very good example uh, to use for my specific application. So make sure that uh, you can find examples from your uh, pre previous experiences to use within the application process and uh, so that Amazon can notice you and can, uh, can put you on the list to reach the final interview stage. So whereas for the position, you will need to tailor your application, your curriculum, as well as your cover letter to uh, the specific requirements of the uh, overall, as per the leadership principles within Amazon, uh, if you want to apply to a more Amazon-wide base, still you need to focus on the leadership principles, of course, uh, but I would suggest uh, another number of recommendations, which include uh, really studying about the company. Uh, everybody knows, you know, Amazon itself as the, the big giant that they are, but uh, they really appreciate uh, during the interview process and also during the preliminary stages, if you demonstrate an understanding of the, the business and how the business operates compared to perhaps their competitors, uh, compared to uh, how they've been doing things five years ago, for example, 10 years ago, they would ask you questions like, uh, have you seen our business strategy? How it's changed recently? What do you think? So um, doing quite a fair amount of research on the company will really give you that edge uh, showing that you are a candidate that cares, not a candidate that's just bulk applying to different applications and different roles just to try and get something. Uh, so showing a genuine interest and being transparent as well. This is another important lesson I would like to uh, transfer to you. Uh, when you apply for an internship, the other side, so the interviewer or the uh, hiring manager, knows that uh, you're not the best engineer possible. They know you don't have enough experience to maintain a project all by yourself. They know that you don't have years and years uh, in the professional industry. So don't try and make up skills that you have not gained yet. Be transparent on what you can give to the company and be very transparent about what the company can give to you. Uh, this honesty and this uh, trust, level of trust that you show you want to build with uh, the company uh, will be seen very, very well from the other side and uh, will also not create very you know, uncomfortable situations as it comes during the, uh, uh, during the role. So don't be afraid to say, uh, I'm not sure how to answer this question, but I really would like to learn. Or I'm not sure how to solve this problem, but uh, if I was me, uh, I would probably try and approach it like this. You know, 
show critical thinking, show problem solving skills, and it doesn't it doesn't matter whether you get the best answer or the correct answer straight away. Showing an acumen for both the business and uh, what kind of uh, what kind of role you would have within that position in Amazon is really well seen. This is also beyond, I would say, uh, the Amazon Amazon company. This is more generic, always uh, being transparent and showing that. Uh, uh, not only you will give to the company, but the company will give a lot of benefit back to you as well. In terms of general advice, uh, which I would like to give to wrap up today, today's session is, uh, you know, uh, have patience. Uh, we've all been through the same uh, steps, uh, we've all been through the same tribulations, the same, uh, um, you know, uh, annoyance when we get no response or we get automated robotic responses that say, uh, you know, uh, sorry, but uh, you do not match our profile. Uh, please do not respond to this email. So uh, don't take it personal. That's something that I would like to share with you. Have patience and don't take it personal. Every opportunity, whether positive or negative, at this stage of your uh, uh, career uh, will be very, very beneficial to you moving forward and will make sure that the next application that you do will be, uh, will be successful. So that's the first thing. Uh, second thing I would say, uh, get out there. You know, uh, start with your professional networking. Start taking it seriously. Uh, do face-to-face, -face. maybe not right now with the pandemic situation, but uh, try and organize as many you know, workshops and sessions with people as possible. Speak to as many people as possible to make sure that uh, you know, your name starts getting out there, your skills starting to be talked about, as well as your experiences are starting to get, uh, get noticed. You know, you're starting to be noteworthy as, as a candidate and uh, the word spreads pretty, pretty fast you know, in, the, in, the, in the sector. So uh, don't be afraid to put yourself out there and uh, demonstrate who you are. Uh, then be honest and transparent. You're not expected to change the company when you enter as an intern. You're expected to support uh, the current company procedures and perhaps improve uh, their, their workflows. So don't have this huge weight on you uh, to be, uh, you know, uh, to be the best person in the company. They know that uh, you're not going to have as much experience as a senior engineer, uh, but you need to do your best always, no matter what is given to you. And uh, if you're not the best person for a role, seek help. You know, the best person for a specific task, uh, there is no shame in uh, mentioning that and seeking help, which also shows leadership skills, which are very, very well seen, even in an engineering role, which often can be uh, mistaken for a more technical perspective. Uh, don't forget to show the soft skills and the human side as well. That's very, very important. And uh, lastly, I would like to, to remind you always to be positive. Not just have patience, but also don't be too hard on yourself, you know. You have plenty of time and uh, if you made it to the Intern maker, Makers platform, you're already on the right path. <laughs> so you're already uh, pursuing specific, uh, you know, insights and tips from people with this kind of experience. So keep it up, you know, uh, don't give up and um, keep searching for, uh, you know, the next insight and the next tip from uh, people with experiences uh, such as myself uh, and also the other people on, uh, on this platform. Uh, LinkedIn is a great source of information, not just for uh, uh, professional uh, careers, but also for uh, you know news and seeing how the business moves. Uh, so make sure that you stay connected as much as possible with uh, the latest uh, latest events, and uh, you know uh, don't be discouraged. You're, we're all gonna make it, and you're you're all gonna get there eventually. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank uh, you uh, for making it this far within the video and also to Intern Makers for giving me this, uh, this chance to be part of the platform. Uh, it's a really, uh, really beneficial cause, you know, to uh, uh, people going through young engineers and as well as young professionals going through the same exact steps uh, that we've all gone through during different stages of our career. So uh, again, uh, it was a great opportunity to be part of this and to be able to share uh, some lessons that I've learned over the years. Um, currently, I'm... Um, no longer in Amazon, but I'm working as a full-time engineer in the space sector. So actually my company, which is headquartered in Japan, is one of the uh, new space companies that are trying to, uh, you know, kind of like shake up the space industry, which can be quite slow and expensive, you know. So we're trying to do things a little bit faster, a little bit more, uh, um, uh, more novel approaches, such as like SpaceX. Uh, so if you'd like to talk to me about that, I'm very, very happy to, you know, uh, uh, respond to you. I am active on LinkedIn and as well as that, I've been doing some mentoring for a number of people still on LinkedIn and also with, uh, you know, face-to-face, uh, -face, of course, virtually right now with the pandemic, which I hope it's, uh, it's not been too hard on you and your family, of course. Um, uh, please do reach out. My name is Federico Giusto on uh, LinkedIn. Hopefully it will be written somewhere in the, uh, in the links in the description. 
um, uh, and uh, I, will be, I will be responding to you and supporting you, not just for the Amazon robotics or Amazon perspective, but also from uh, other kind of lessons that I learned over the years uh, with regards to my academics, with regards to my you know, accreditations and anything that you might be going through. So I'm, uh, I'm very, very happy to hear from you and I welcome any kind of questions. So uh, thanks again and uh, all the best to you.